All right, I got that king valve taken out. Just the part that fell off. See the little spring. So I am at the compressor uh, shop called Houston Hermetics. And I'm going to see if they can repair this for me. Or what they suggest. Let's see if they got another one. So this supposed to fit right off in here. Do it snug like that so when it's front seated, it's closed off. Somehow that thing fell off. I don't know if this one can go back here. All right, let's see if they can help us. Yeah, that's amazing how that thing just fell like that. Justin still here? Justin? Mm -hmm. He's not in today. Okay. I want to see if he can take me a tour. Oh, yeah. You guys do that or I can do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see this paper like, uh, here? That's called the slot liner. Mm -hmm. You are checking to see if this wire is touching, touching here. Touching the chassis, right. Yeah. Okay. So you're actually testing mm -hmm. this slot liner. Mm -hmm. You're testing the top wedge mm -hmm. and if they have protection on the very top. All three. Okay. Choose the case. Mm -hmm. So what you're actually doing. Now, so if you have a digital mm -hmm. meter. Right. Like I got the Fluke 1887. Yeah, you got the real deal here. But mm -hmm. are you doing with a mega ohm test? Yeah. Insulation test? So yeah. you're doing mm -hmm. 500. Mm -hmm. And when you do the test, you want it to come the 505 volts, mm -hmm. and you're getting 100 giga ohms to ground, which is great. Okay. If it goes like up and down, you know that's ground. Mm hmm. If it goes up to one, you, it cannot be lower than one. Okay. I like it to be like around 50 mm -hmm. at least, but one is still acceptable limit. Okay. So, of course up here in the infinity range is the best. Mm -hmm. I like it right here. Okay, so if you, if you go to 500, just say mm -hmm. if you're only getting like 200. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if it's getting 200, then it's not accepting the right. 500 volts. It's not accepting it's the failing. 500. It's failing. Right, yeah. It's failing. Okay. So if you got a 208, I think you want to double it, right? So if you got well, a, what you're doing mm -hmm. is you're mm -hmm. not testing the voltage of the motor. Mm -hmm. You're testing the voltage of the insulation itself, right here. The mm -hmm. insulation okay. value of mm -hmm. that is 600 volts. Okay. So you're testing the voltage of this. Make sure there's going to hold. Voltage? AC. AC both. Okay. Well, with this is DC. It's DC with this, the meter. Right. You, but you that is mm -hmm. doing a non-destructive test, mm -hmm. where if we did it with AC here, and there was some kind of a problem, you'd have a destructive test and ruin a good winding. Right. So, okay. th what you're actually doing mm -hmm. is testing that insulation, mm -hmm. which is rated at 600 volts. Okay. So you want to put 500, even if it's, say this is 230 volt winding. Mm -hmm. You're not testing the voltage of the winding, you're mm -hmm. testing the voltage of the insulation. Right, and that's what we call this insulation right here. Right. Okay, that's the integrity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so what's different though in the insulation, just say if you're checking the insulation and you uh then checking the ground, if you put one of these to ground. That's what you're checking. Uh -huh. This this, this it's just, okay. the insulation test. Okay. And if you get continuity, uh you put one this lead to ground. Mm -hmm. And put this to one of your uh, L1, one, one of these. Mm -hmm. If you get a beep on continuity, you know you're grounded. You know you're grounded. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you always want to have your power leads disconnected off your machine. Don't do it with the, with the leads on the machine because then you can be reading mm -hmm. ground to here. Mm -hmm. So you always want to have your leads disconnected off the machine when you're doing the mm -hmm. insulation test. Okay. Okay, and when you say off off the machine, so don't put it on the compressor. You want it. Your power leads. Mm -hmm. You know your power leads are coming down to your machine, mm -hmm. right? And you got your terminal plate here. And mm -hmm. 
So you want to disconnect your power? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. You're just checking it right at the compressor. Yeah, that's the only thing you're checking. It's the compressor. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I always check these, too. Uh-huh. Make, make sure they... they yes, sir. Yeah, I, I do, too. You're having a problem. Yeah. But I, mm -hmm. I do that test first yeah. on this scale okay. mm -hmm. to check this to ground it. Right. Yeah, that's how I used to do it too. I take it at the contactor mm -hmm. and see if I got anything to ground. If I don't got nothing, I still take the leads off and then just take yeah, the compressor yeah, itself. That's a smart thing to do. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, man. I so appreciate it. You always want to mm -hmm. do all the motors yeah. that you to what horsepower do you do? Uh, hundred ton, uh, hundred fifty. Yeah, we do all. I mean, um, screws, screws, semi hermetic. Uh, okay. I mean, we pretty so much. So what you want to do? Yeah. And most of your mm -hmm. stuff is 460? Both 208 and 460. Okay, but uh, not 230. higher than that? No, right? not higher than that. Okay. We, don't, we don't use So you always want to do the 500 mm -hmm. volt test. Okay, not 1,000? Not 1,000. Okay. A 1,000 volt test, you mm -hmm. can if mm -hmm. you're detecting some kind of a problem okay. and go up to the higher voltage. Okay. But if you go to the higher voltage, that mm -hmm. you're weakening or can create a path to ground. Oh, okay. So you don't want to exceed the value gotcha. of the 600 volts. Okay. Unless you mm -hmm. have no other option or you think mm -hmm. there may be a failure. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you ruin it or not, but mm -hmm. you can do the 1,000. Okay. okay. But I, I hardly ever mm -hmm. go to the 1,000 scale mm -hmm. because I know that if if I damage it, it, you know, I'm already detecting maybe some kind of a problem and I'll do the thousand volt test. Yes, okay. But always keep it at 500. 500 should be sufficient. Okay. Because you're only holding mm -hmm. 460 or 480 volts. Right. And this mega right here, around how much uh, a mega like this costs? I think about seven or eight hundred dollars. About seven eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this I heard is, these the best. This is the mm -hmm. best one. Mm -hmm. Although yeah. any maker mm -hmm. that 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 can make 500 volts mm -hmm. is is sufficient because I've seen okay. some little bitty ones that are pretty good. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you want a good heavy duty industrial type, I would go with that because it's got a lot of features you can use okay. than just that. Yeah. Okay. So you never want to mm -hmm. do uh, mm -hmm. under under this like uh, a, don't it set it at 250 to mm -hmm. check. Okay. Or 60 or both. Okay. You can do the 500 on mm -hmm. all of the 230, mm -hmm. 460. Okay. Man, we sure appreciate it. We didn't know we was going to get an education. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got my YouTube viewers. We tuned in, so mm -hmm. we appreciate it.